Hey, I'm Brian Van. I'm Max Van. And today we're going to break down the all-new Alpine Stars KRR Cell Race Back Protector. Okay, this all new back protector retails for $169.95. As of the time we're shooting this video, please understand we don't update the videos for pricing changes, only the product itself has been completely redesigned. Race, you heard me say that, right? This is intended to be used underneath a road race suit. A properly fitting road race suit is necessary to basically help hold this thing in place as it's designed to be held. It comes with an adjustable waist strap. We're gonna talk more about this as we go, but there are no shoulder straps. For that reason, right, your suit has to fit right. So when it's in there, it's held in the spot where it's supposed to be. Why would you use this over one that has shoulder straps? The ones that have the shoulder straps, you're just adding more stuff underneath the suit. If your suit is snug, or a snug fitting, tight fit, Right, the more stuff you put under there, the more restrictive you can get. And some people just don't like the feel of the shoulder straps. Maybe the little things are close to their collarbone. Maybe the way it goes under their arms, they just don't like it. So this is a great option for somebody who really likes to be kind of minimalist in that way. You want as little under the road race suit as humanly possible. That's who this is for. Sizing. And this is like we're gonna talk about how this fits him right now. He thinks he's six feet tall, he's maybe 5'11", and he's oh, trying to be, be really be standing straight up right now, okay? okay? So you wanna size these based off of height. And also for me, it's turn around now so we can give him a look at it. What, what I wanna do, right, is I wanna get the most protection, the most coverage back here without being restrictive or in the way. And when you look at Max, right, we're starting here, that's gonna be the shoulders of his road race suit, and it's gonna come down just short of his tailbone. So this is not going to be restrictive or in the way at all. It's a level two CE certified using their cell technology, media or variable density. It's thicker in the center, you can see that. Tapers as we get to the outsides, so it's super comfortable, it's pretty flexible, right? Definitely very airy, fully perforated, super comfortable for the rider. And as we get down towards the lowest portion of the back where it really needs to move with you as you're moving around on the machine, it's even more flexible in that area. It has an adjustable uh, height belt. We'll talk about that a little more in the second part of this video, right? There's a size chart in this listing. And essentially what I'm focused on here is gonna be the size of the shell, right? That varies depending upon your height. And then you get waistline. This waist belt, he's got this thing topped off right now. It's topped off, for That's sure. That's all it is. But, you know, at 152 pounds, at almost six feet tall, you're pretty thin. Yeah. Right? So your waist, you said, is what, like a... 28, 29, somewhere around Perfect. There. Mine's like a 32, <clears throat> and when I put that on, it fit me a little bit better than you did. Yeah, so definitely. that three to four inches really made a difference. If you're bigger around the waist, and you'll see that in the size chart, right? Say you're, you're you know, 36, 38, what, whatever, you're, you're, you know, you're a little more... The, the extra large for this back protector, he's wearing a large right now, the extra large has the same size shell, but it's gonna have a longer waist belt. And once again, look at the size chart, it's gonna break all that down, it's really gonna help you choose the right one. To recap, probably the most important thing here is, this is meant to be used under a properly fitting race suit. Mm -hmm. If you wanna do some street riding, there's better options, we reviewed sure. one earlier today. Yep that Nucleon Flex Pro protection vest, I think mm -hmm. would be super sweet, and that would Amazing. take you from street to track, yeah, where this is track only. If you like what you see, you want just a little bit more info, stay tuned, we're gonna take it off and just give you a closer look. Okay, now that we have this thing off, Max, we're gonna give you a little closer look from the inside out of the KRR Cell Race Back Protector. It's using their Cell Energy Management Technology. This is a great way to manage an impact. You take an impact with all these cells, they kind of collapse against each other and work to manage that impact. This is kind of a like medium density. The density, right, kind of varies from the center to the outsides, which is what you want, your heaviest protection right in the critical spinal area there. And then to the outside, it's a little more flexible and comfortable, still being very protective, okay? We've got an adjustable waist belt, the way to do that, to move this up and down. And this is all just gonna be just for fit and comfort, okay? You open up the Velcro patch here, 
remove this. If you need this to ride lower on your waist, go ahead and move it down. We're gonna put it right back in that central spot. At the end of the day, a lot of this is gonna to have to do with your shape around your midsection. If you're a little bigger around the midsection, you might need the thing to ride up a little bit higher, kind of more, more on top-ish, right? Really depends on how you're shaped. If you're thinner in the waist, you can put this almost anywhere and it's gonna work great for you. Alpine Stars does have an add-on tailbone protector. There's a Velcro patch on the back side of this that allows you to use that. It's right here. Here's an inside look. You can see we've got some foam padding on the back. They maintain perforation through all that to keep the rider cooler and comfortable. You've got cutouts here in that foam piece that touches your back. This is going to be as cool and comfortable as it can possibly be. They even went as far as to perforate the waist belt, which definitely makes a difference. The waist belt has spandex built in it too, which is critical because once you get this thing cinched up, but then you start moving around on the bike, it's an athletic activity, right? So your core is changing sizes as your abs expand and contract. You want to have that in position so it doesn't pull too hard on the belt. Now it comes with this. I'm just going to show this to you, right? It's something that I don't think it works that great. Sorry, Alpine Stars. This is a little Velcro patch, right? That you can attach the inside of your race suit and kind of hold the back protector in place. You know what? I just have not had like an amazing experience with these. I feel like they come unsnapped a lot. When I'm wearing something like this, just like we showed you with Max, I'm just gonna go ahead and strap that on. Right? I'm gonna pull my suit up, the lower half, put the back protector on, I'm gonna strap it up, slide my arms into it and go. If your suit fits properly, it's gonna hold this in place perfectly. You're not gonna have any issues. So in the end, it really eliminates the need for this. You do need the waist strap because it just keeps the back protector from really just moving way out of position, okay? End of the day, if the suit fits right, this thing's gonna stay right where it needs to be. Alpine Stars Protection has come a long way. This really started like with that KR3 back protector we raved about several years ago. I rode in that thing quite a bit pre-airbag, and I gotta tell you, I really loved it. All the other stuff they've come out with since that moment has been absolutely fantastic. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself, and I'm always here to help you choose the right gear for your next ride.